What is going on everyone? Welcome back to World of Vision and Science and today we're going to talk about Big Bang Theory. So previously I did make a video about it a year ago but it was not fully detailed. So this time we're going to be talking about it in a more detailed way. So I hope you enjoy it. So without any ado, let's just hop into the video. The entire universe was confined in a single point which was a few millimeter wide. It was infinitely hot and infinitely dense. The Planck Epoch. Now during this time, four fundamental forces unified as one. These forces include weak nuclear force, strong nuclear force, gravitational force and electromagnetic force. Then gravitation starts to separate from different forces in the universe and gradually the temperature fell down. This is termed as Grand Unification Epoch. During this time only electromagnetic force, strong and weak nuclear force were together. During this time cosmic inflation started. Universe began to grow. This period was known as inflationary epoch. Then came the electroweak epoch in which weak nuclear force and electromagnetic force finally separated. Around the end of electroweak epoch, quarks began to form. Quarks are said to be the smallest particle in the whole universe and are fundamental constituent of matter. Then came the quark epoch in which the temperature of universe was still too high for quarks to bind together and form hadron. In the hadron epoch, the universe cooled down enough for the quarks to combine together and form neutrons and protons. The leptin epoch roughly around one second after Big Bang and the nuclear epoch, protons and neutrons combined together to form a nuclei which led to the formation of the first element, helium. And with this, radiation era comes to an end. Then starts the matter era, which begins with atomic epoch. Universe was flooded with photons which is an elementary particle. Electrons attached with nuclei to form the second element, hydrogen, when the universe cooled down enough. Then comes the galactic epoch. The two elements, helium and hydrogen, formed atomic clouds and is said to have formed all the galaxies in the present day universe. Some studies show that stars might have formed in this epoch as traces of carbon, silicon, etc. are said to be 10 billion years old. Then finally comes the stellar epoch, the present day universe, in which we all live and slowly other elements formed. That's all for today guys, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and thank you all for 200 subscribers. Also hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. See you in the next video, till then, goodbye.